Welcome to Mac TV with Professor V. It is a new month, Thursday, December 1st, 2022. Here's the integral of the day. We have antiderivative of the natural log of x plus square root of x squared minus 1 dx. I told you I had some spicy ones waiting for you. So marinate on it. Pause the video if you need to. I'm just going to jump right in. Obviously, don't even think about creating some sort of illegal logarithmic property where you're going to split this bad boy up. Uh-uh, not allowed. U sub is not looking enticing because uh, there's nothing to be du. So I'm just going to go for some by parts and then hope things turn out nicely. Do you know what I mean? So I'm going to let u equal natural log of x plus square root of x squared minus 1. And then dv is just going to be plain old dx, all right? So du, let's take the derivative. Derivative of natural log of something is 1 over the something. In this case, 1 over x plus square root of x squared minus 1. And then we do have to use the chain rule and multiply by the derivative mm -hmm, of x plus rad x squared minus 1. So derivative of x is 1. Derivative of square root of x squared minus 1 is going to be 2x over 2 rad x squared minus 1. If you want to know how I did that so quickly, I'll link a video here where I show shortcut on how to differentiate a square root function. And then don't forget, we got a dx. Yes. Let me scoot this over. And then if dv is dx, then v is just equal to x. All right, I mean, this looks quite messy. Maybe I need to clean up du a little bit before we start trying to integrate. That's a good idea. So we have one plus, these twos are gonna cancel. So this is just x over rad x squared minus one over x plus rad x squared minus one dx. And it's a complex fraction or expression. So I'm going to multiply everything by rad x squared minus 1, top and bottom. And then let's see what comes of it. So this is going to be rad x squared minus 1 plus x in the numerator when I distribute this through. And then in the denominator, I'm actually just going to leave it factored. So x plus rad x squared minus 1 times rad x squared minus 1 dx. Ooh. And then perhaps you notice something now. <gasps> yes, it's just fabulous because the numerator and denominator have a common factor, which I can cancel. So let's just summarize everything that we have now. I'll rewrite u was natural log x plus rad x squared minus 1. And then du is 1 over rad x squared minus 1 dx. And then I'll just bring down the fact that dv was dx, so v is x. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's see if this gets us anywhere. So now we have uv that we don't integrate. So just x times natural log of x plus rad x squared minus 1 minus the integral of vdu right here. So that's going to be x over rad x squared minus 1 dx. All right, how to tackle this little integral here? Oh my, this is the least of our worries. I'm just going to make a substitution. I already used up u, so let's go ahead and say let t equal x squared minus 1. So then dt is 2x dx. That's not quite what I have. Divide by 2, so 1 half dt equals x dx. Lovely. Now I'm going to rewrite everything. So we have x natural log x plus rad x squared minus 1 minus, here's my integral, instead of x dx, instead of this x dx, 
we have now one half dt. I always tell my students, put the constants outside the integral, okay? One half dt over square root of t. All right, square root of t in the denominator, remember that's t to the negative one half. So when I anti-differentiate, I'm gonna add one to the exponent, divide by the new exponent, which is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, and then I still have that other one half in the front, yes? Plus c. Subtract all this, rewrite everything you have every step of the way, please. Okay, oh, this works out nicely because the one half and the two will cancel. And then we just have t to the one half or rad t. So I think I can just finish this off in one more step. So x natural log, whoop, x plus rad x squared minus one. Close that up, minus, instead of square root of t, I'm gonna write square root x squared minus one, since that's what t originally was, plus c. I think that was a pretty cool one. Did you enjoy it? I told you I dug up some really nice little integrals. Let's box it with special colors. Here we go. Anyways, hope everyone's having a lovely Thursday. Are you all keeping up with the World Cup? I don't watch it during the day because I'm working, but I do try to catch up on whatever games I can when I get home. I think today's gonna be Spain and Japan. We're all excited about that. So. Keep working hard. Check out the rest of my YouTube channel if you haven't already. I have full-length lectures ranging from trigonometry all the way to Calc 3, some differential equations, linear algebra, all that good stuff. If you would like to make video topic requests and such, join my Patreon or you can click the join button here to become a member of the channel and get access to special perks, exclusive content, video requests, all that jazz. And you can also see what I'm up to on Instagram and TikTok at Math TV with Professor V. Always click the super thanks if you want. Help a sister out. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.